So you never, have you experienced fear during flight? Like, um, I mean, one one way, we just offline mentioned Mike Tyson, I mean, he talked about like, uh, as he's uh, walking up to the ring, he's like, he starts out basically in fear and uh, yeah, worried about how things are going to go. I mean, it's p purely to put into words his fear, but as he gets closer and closer to the ring is the confidence grows and grows until the, ego basically takes over to where you think there's no way anybody could uh, defeat me. So like that's that's his experience of overcoming fear. But do you, uh, did you experience any kind of thing like that? Or is that, or do you just go to the part of the brain that goes to the training and then you just go to the instinctual 80% solution? I wouldn't say I was never afraid. I think that would be I, can't, I couldn't tell you that anyone I know that wasn't afraid at one time. And for most of us, especially Navy carrier pilots, it's just, it's, it's usually, especially when you're new and you got to go out and it's nighttime and there's no moon and the weather sucks and the deck's moving, you know, the, the ship's going up and down because it will scare the ever living shit out of you. Uh, can I say that? <laughs> you you um, can definitely say that. So it's about landing or takeoff that. Th like that is if you, even a, they, they used to wire people up, they did it during Vietnam you know, guys would go fly missions, you know, when they were flying low and crazy stuff was going on and people were getting shot down a lot. Uh, the highest, the highest anxiety and heart rates were coming back to land on board an aircraft carrier. How hard is it to land on that? It seems um, impossible. Like for, for a uh, civilian, I guess, like me, it just seems crazy that a human can do that. The, the problem with night is, and there's different degrees of night, just like day. I mean, there's the clear full moon night, you know, where it's like, woo. Yeah. You know, this is not that bad, but you got to remember at night, I think everyone can associate with you're driving in your car and it's just a, it's, it's an overcast dark night and you're on a country road with no side lights. Most people have a tendency to slow down just by nature of, oh my God, because you, you, what you'll do is you'll out drive your headlights because it is so dark, you know, and you can get outside of, you get outside of the city and get up into New Hampshire, uh, especially when the roads are curving, you know, and the lines probably aren't that good. It's, you know, now take that and multiply it by like a million because you have no depth perception. Uh, what you think is fixed, the runway is actually moving. Mm -hmm. Up and down um, and left to right. Up, just... Yeah. Oh, and, and when it's really bad, you can actually see it move. <laughs> and uh, we have two systems. Uh, you know, there was a, there's an automatic system that's actually, uh, it stabilizes with the inertials on the ship. And then there's the ILS now. Civilian pilots will tell you that ILS is a precision approach, which gives you azimuth and glide slope. You know, you come down, you it's like a plus. Um, on the carrier, it's not. It's really just a beam that goes out, and it's considered a non-precision approach. It's it's not stabilized at all. That, and I've been where you can actually watch the needle and the and the the tack and needle will move. There's all kinds of stuff moving because the the base that it's all sitting on is doing this. And ships don't just go up and down. They 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 do this so the bow goes up and down and the tail like you normally see a ship. And then there's so that's pitch. And then it has roll, so it's doing this. And then it has heave, so the whole boat is going up and down while it's pitching and rolling. And you're going to land on that. Um, <laughs> so, and it's, I mean, I remember landing, so I was with Chris uh, Sato, and uh, Chris and I, we were off the USS Ranger, which is now decommissioned. It's sitting, getting turned into razor blades. Um, we're flying the old A6, and we come in, and it was off of San Diego, and it was just an ugly night because San Diego always has a marine layer that is about 1,200 feet. It was lower than that that night, and it was pouring down rain. It was an El Nino year, and there's thunderstorms all around. It was just the craziest night I've ever seen out of San Diego. And I remember landing, and your adrenaline is so high that you're shaking. I mean, you literally can't stop. And we had spun around out of the landing area, and we parked. We, we call it the six-pack, so it's right in front of the island. So if you see an aircraft carrier with the island and the number of the ship on it, we're sitting right in front of that and we're looking at the landing area. So it's like, you, you get front row seats to the concert <laughs> and, and this, this, this EA six B comes in, you know, ugly pass. He ends up catching a one wire, which is the first one. You never want to catch the first one, which means you were not really high above the back of the ship when you landed. 
and it comes in and the, the exhaust on an EA6 or an A6 actually points kind of down and it blows and it's blowing all the standing water on the aircraft. That's how hard it's raining. And you literally could not see across. I mean, I could see the front of my airplane, his airplane, and then it was just white because of the water being blown off the deck. Wow. And I, I'm shaking and I, 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 I'll never forget. I looked over at Chris and I said, oh my God. I go, hey dude, man, 10,000 foot runway looks really good right now. And I go, and I'm, I'm shaking my hands like this. And I said, I'm not even, this is, I'm not faking this dude. I go, that's literally, I cannot stop shaking. I said, that scared the ever out of me. Yeah. Um, but you, and, but it scares you afterwards. You don't, during it, you're not, I'm not, you don't have time to think about that. You're doing it. You got to do as we, you know, kind of the quote from Tom Hanks and, uh, uh, what's that, uh, the girl's baseball movie. He, where he goes, there's no crying in baseball. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's our joke. There's no crying in naval aviation. I said, you, you can fly around and cry all you want at night, but you know, there's only one pilot in those airplanes and you got to land it. So you can cry all <laughs> you want, wipe point. the tears away, you know, put on your big kid pants and it's, it's time to, it's time to, you know, man up and, and land the, land the jet.